What's going on, everybody? Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic, where uh, we're still running around on our absolute trash wagon of a... I don't even know what to call this thing. It's a little cardboard box cart. It's a its a crate cart. It's a, it's a pile of trash. That's all there is to it. It's an absolute pile of trash. But today... Today, I hope to change that. I don't, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of driving around on a pile of trash. I don't want to do that no more. I want to drive around on something that can actually uh, move in a straight line. Oh, right as I say it, he actually moves in a straight line. Uh, and without doing wheelies, preferably. That would be really, really nice as well. Um, but uh, we'll have to see how we go. We've already got a lot of the parts that we need, though. We've got our new set of tires here. It's not quite a set yet, but we will get the fourth one very, very soon. We're going to get us a new driver's seat and hopefully, if all goes according to plan, a new engine as well. But before we get to that, uh, thanks to everybody who has been tuning in uh, to the last two videos. And if you do enjoy this one and would like to see more Scrap Mechanic on the channel, then I beg of you, then please let me know by going ahead, punching that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. Can we get like 4,000 thumbs ups on this video? I got a feeling we can do it. I got a good feeling we can do it. Anyways, I was uh, scouring. I was uh, g crawling my way through the comments of last video, and there were a lot of suggestions from people telling me what I could do to make our vehicle, our trash wagon, as I'm going to label it, uh, a little bit, a little bit more functional. Because uh, you know, as we all know, it uh, it doesn't turn. <laughs> That's me trying to turn it. If I I can't even move right now, it it, it won't even it won't even. Yeah, there we go. Use a little bit of momentum to get the thing moving. Um, it doesn't move very well. And when it does, it does wheelies and spins around in circles. It's, 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 it's unfunctional. It doesn't do anything. One of the suggestions that I received was rather than powering the back wheels, that I should power the front ones. Uh, max connections reached. Really? I think you can only connect two. Well, I'm going to detach the back. Let's connect the front ones instead. And uh, let's have a look and see if that does any better. Honestly, if this works... Oh, you're joking me. Wait, really? I didn't actually expect that to make my wagon work. Um, wow, I can actually control this thing. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this thing actually works now. Uh, well, whoever left that comment, thank you very much. The other suggestion was to just uh, pull this thing off. I literally threw a slab of metal on the back of this vehicle, and then I questioned why the thing was doing wheelies. Um, yeah, so if we pop that off, I bet you this thing runs perfectly fine. In fact, I could probably even go ahead and crank this up to full power. And yeah, wow, I could have I could have ridden this thing around for the last couple of days, but I guess it don't matter. We're going to be cranking in these upgrades today, and then hopefully... Uh, we no longer even have to question it or look about it. We don't even have to talk about it anymore. So let's go prop our trash wagon, scrap wagon, whatever we want to call this thing, up on a little lift here. Bring it into our big old mechanic workshop and uh, let's get let's get some stuff crafted, right? So I've collected a bunch of resources. Um, I went and got more honey. I got more metal. I found... Remember how we lost that metal last episode? Remember I was like, I swear I collected this. Well, it turns out I did. And my dead body still had about 50 metal on it. So we found that. So that was pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I kind of like my little metal backing board over here. So I'm going to throw that back on. Um, but yeah, I found that metal. So now we got more metal. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's get let's get this stuff going, shall we? Sure, we need one more tire. How do I not have the wood for it? Really? What did I do? I Wait, really? Where's my wood? I got 100. Oh, I got to craft it. Oh, I got to craft it. Duh. Okay, I was going to say, I literally spent a whole bunch of time the other day smashing up wood. So that I wouldn't have to, like, do it now. Anyways, we've got the wood. We just got to craft it into wood blocks. So there's two different types of wood. You got your scrap wood, and then I guess your wooden blocks. Um, and then with that, we can... <gasps> we could get big wheels. Oh, we could get big wheels. Except you need more honey. All right, we'll stick to little wheels. Now we'll get big wheels another time. Um, yeah, okay, that's our fourth wheel. Bam, that's it. I was going to say, I'm missing one honey to get another one. But we don't need no other one. So that's that. Uh, on top of that, we want to get us a driver's seat. The question is, do we want to get a regular driver's seat? I guess we can compare the stats. Um, buoyant, friction, durability, weight, etc. Uh, or we can get the motorcycle one which will actually allow us to, I guess, shrink the size of our vehicle a tiny little bit. Um, I actually don't know. They're pretty similar. They're very similar, as a matter of fact. I think we're just going to get a regular driver's seat, and then we'll, we'll worry about, like, a motorcycle another time. 
The next things that I really want to kind of get going though is a saw blade so we can chop down trees a lot quicker, a lot easier. And then um, a drill. A drill would be like a game changer. But the thing is we need these. And I don't know what that red thing is. I'm sure we'll find some sooner or later, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see how we go. But uh, for now, that's step one of the upgrades to the Scrapmobile. And uh, next step is going to be the engine. We obviously need an engine, but we need these red things. And uh, people... Wait a second. Electric engine. Ooh, electric engine just needs 20 of those. And batteries. We don't have either of those, though. So, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to focus on the gas engine, I suppose. But for that, we need five. I think that's oil. Or engine oil. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's a thing. People were telling me about it in the comments. Uh, they've kind of alluded to where I can find some. So, we're going to go and try and find some of that. And we'll see how we go. But all in all, I think... We're definitely, we're on the right track. We're on the right track. There we go. All right. Let me go and grab my four remaining wheels. I still love my little like thing here. It's just got, I could probably take some of that gasoline with me as well. I love how we got our little just, that's how we store all of our items. I could probably stick them on the wall. That'd be a little bit easier to access them, but that's fine. It's all good. Let's begin by pop. No, not the... Not the lift. The lift is the most important part out of all of this. Um, let's get these wheels off. Let's get these wheels off. That's all four of those. And uh, let's chuck our new and improved. Wait, that's not all four of those. Let's chuck our new and improved. I don't even know what the difference. I don't know what these things are called, but they're wheels. And they're wheels that'll probably just turn in the right direction. So that's going to be quite nice. Uh, next step, remove the driver's seat and replace it with something a little bit fancier. A driver's seat that doesn't have tears and scratches and all the rest of it in it. There's no wood involved. It's looking pretty good if you ask me. Now we just got to go ahead and connect it all up. I don't know if we leave the wheels being... I think I want to change that, to be honest. I want to change that back to the powering the rear ones. And we'll see if it works. And if it doesn't, I'll have to... I don't know. Work something out. So, like that. We obviously want those to be turned around a little bit. Uh, that one needs to be rotated. Or is it... No, 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 they're both pointing the right way. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, drop that off. I guess it's time to take the thing for a test drive. Here we go. <laughs> we actually move in a straight line. That's so good. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. Let's just take some of this power off. Um, also, I don't want to be carrying around these, these trashy wheels all day long. So I think we're just going to go and ditch these over here. Boom. Because we still don't have a proper, like, storage chest or anything like that. There we go. Alright. Now all of that stuff can remind us of where we came from once upon a time. Is that something I can pick up? Nope. So. I just realized my wheels are pointing the wrong way. Yes, they are indeedy. Um, and I'm struggling to move forwards yet again. What is it with this vehicle and just never wanting to move forwards? All right, that's that. That's that. That's it. Uh, change everything. Oh, gosh. You know what? <laughs> Let me just carry you back. Uh, we're going front wheel drive. There's nothing more to it. We don't have a choice. It just runs better that way. So we're going to have to go front woods drive. Boom. Fantastic. Why can I never move forward? I have to roll backwards. And then after I roll backwards, it lets me roll forwards. I don't know. Who am I to question it? But uh, hey. We have ourselves a functional vehicle at last. It's a little bit unstable. It keeps wanting to tip over, but uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I think that's awesome. Uh, so I guess we're going to go and continue up this road to the little weird village that we stumbled across towards the end of last episode. We, come, we came across a weird little town over here. And uh, I figured we'd wait until we had a proper vehicle. That way we can actually like roam in there nice and easily. Yeah, this wagon just does not want to make it up this hill. <laughs> I think we're going to have to crank up the power a little bit. Or we just need a better engine. Yeah, we, we definitely need a better engine. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Our little scrap wagon. It's coming together. It's coming together. Anyways, have a look at this. What do we have here? Ain't this interesting? Ooh. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Hold on. We got a little drive through. <laughs> yep. Okay. 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 So what is this? I just happen to have a beetroot in my hand right this second. 
I don't know what this is. Can I get food here? Atmospherically sealed. Okay. Okay, that's just a giant screw. Okay. Can I... What do I... How does this thing work? I can't... I can't use it, I think. Unless I hit that button back there. Nope, that's not a button. Okay. Interesting. Looks like we can go indoors. Or maybe I... Oh, no, that's a window. Okay. It's some sort of, like, food processing plant. Maybe you give them food for money, but then money... Is money even a thing in this game? Maybe you trade food for resources? In fact, uh, maybe maybe you used to, because it looks like there's a whole lot of wasted food out here. Yeah, okay. That doesn't really... That doesn't really work for me. Interesting. I think this is just a giant pile of like trash i don't think there's anything we can actually do with this well we're gonna continue because why stop here i think i'm actually gonna head down to the water to be honest actually there, there are more boxes don't flip this thing <laughs> oh whoa, whoa, whoa. maybe i should have just looked up here packing station oh okay so it looks like there's an attachment for our vehicle that you can you can throw on oh, that's a chest maybe that's like a, a, a i don't know a tube of some sort and then you can like I guess reverse into them and load it up with with vegetables or fruits and then it shoots out big boxes of vegetables but what's the point oh are they like big building blocks because i guess then you can like use these giant things as, as as building blocks for our village maybe i mean that's that could be it i don't know if it's it but it's an idea oh well we'll have to wait and see i'm sure we'll find out sooner or later but really, really quickly. Whoop. Let's just stop over here. Bam! What do we got? More seeds. So many... Okay, my vehicle just happened to be pointing in the right direction. Also, it gives me the option to upgrade. Well, how does that work? Oh! Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that's the driver's seat. You can level up the driver's seat to level 2. And it lets you... Uh, give it an extra 2 connections. But how many connections can it have right now? Sorry. Oh, just one. Oh, to an engine. Oh, okay. So then it can power two engines, I suppose. Or five once you get to that point or something like that, I guess. That's interesting. All right. Can I... I can't upgrade that. You can't upgrade your tires. I guess that's it. I can only upgrade my driver's seat. But that's interesting because I've actually got... Why can't I turn? Why? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Wait a second. What's going on here? Hold on, hold on. Something's not connected here because it's like... My, my wheels, are, they're like locked turning. That's bizarre. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I always forget. I always forget. That's like rule number one. You do not pull off the... Uh, we got to turn those, I'm pretty sure. You don't disconnect. Wait, we got to take that off. You don't disconnect the driver's seat. Wait, why is... Why is that a thing? That's not normal. I don't want to upgrade it either. Well, I guess I guess that's what we're doing. Um, but that's still locked turning. It's it's turning. I can't not turn it. Why is it doing that? Why you do this? All right, now it wants to work. Oh, I don't know. Things just get a little bit janky sometimes. What can I say? And it looks like there is a little bit of a blockage in the road. That's not ideal. But that's fine. I'm going to take, uh, <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to take a left turn here or a right turn, whichever kind of turn this is. And we're going to head down to the beach really, really briefly just to see if we can find any of these oil, whatever these oil things are down in the, stop flipping your, oh gosh. All right. I'm just, maybe it's, maybe I'm the problem around here. Maybe I'm just not a good driver. I think that's all there is to it. This vehicle deserves a better driver. Anyways, let's go and have a look. Let's see if we can find anything down in this water. So, oh, hold on. I wonder if this is what people are talking about. There's also a shell down here. Hello, shell. Oh, wow. You can actually... Hey, glue clam. All right. Okay. Is this what I'm looking for? Pick up. Pick up. Yes, they are. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Have a look at my inventory there. That's exactly what we're looking for. We've got three of them, which means two more of these. And I think I'll be able to get us. I think I'll be able to get us our uh, our upgraded engine. That's awesome. That's so good. How about this? Can I pop this? Don't think so. I can pop you though. Take my glue clam. 
Um, are there any nearby or do I actually have to swim a little bit further out? There's one over there. Or there's, maybe I'll grab a couple extra ones and then we can throw two engines on our vehicle. In fact, there's a ton over here. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to have enough for two. Wow, there's actually so much oil out here. That's unbelievable. They're everywhere. There is no shortage whatsoever. And there we go. We've got 10. That's cool. That's like the perfect amount to get two of them. So I guess we got to rush them back to our little shop now. Um, and we can upgrade our gas engine and maybe just maybe get a vehicle that actually wants to work efficiently and be able to get me up hills without, you know, sliding back down them. Like this one seems to love doing. Also, I see you there, scrap butt. I see you there, hey butt. Oh, he dodged out the way. Oh, come on. That's not ideal. <laughs> Don't hit my vehicle. Don't hurt. Don't hurt it. Don't touch it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. He seems more distracted than... Oh, wow. He, like, launched me just then. Four and five shots. Bam. You're dead. Let me quickly grab my metal, and we'll be on our way. Oh, I think I see what's happening here. If I hop off it while I'm turning... It keeps... Nope, it's still turning. It's still turning. All right, this is the weirdest thing ever. I'm just going to carry you home. You're annoying me, vehicle. You're annoying me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I found a little bit of honey. Can't go and not collect it, can I? All right, well, it seems to be working again. I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't know why this thing decides to... It's a, it's a temperamental vehicle. Sometimes it wants to work, and then other times, uh, not so much. Anyways, we're going to head back to the mechanic, though. Let's go and upgrade this engine once and for all. And then hopefully, hopefully, this solves all of our vehicle issues forever. And we never have to worry about this stuff ever again. Oh, no. Oh, did he save it? <laughs> he did. Oh, it's so hard driving in first person. But you just never know what's going to happen. I don't even know if I rolled my vehicle half the time. I'll be straight up with you guys. Just listening to this engine rumble. I don't think it's got much life left in it, to be honest. I think we were pushing it till its limits as it was already. So it's, uh, it's probably a good time for us to be upgrading the thing. Ooh. Yep. Well, at least we made it, I guess. Let's get this guy into the shop and let's get this guy sorted out, shall we? Boom. All right. So show me the good news. Tell me the good news. Let's have a look. Yes, we've got everything that we need. Boom. The engine is a minute and a half away. I'm actually tempted to go and get some storage and stuff like that going, but I don't think we can actually afford it yet. So let's just have a look at what else we can get. There's a regular chest, a large chest. We've got radios, timers, logic gates, controllers. I do remember controllers. I can't remember how they work, but they do something. Um, thrusters. I do want a thruster soon. That'd be really cool. Vacuum pump. The vacuum pump has... Oh, that's the thing that lets you load up the big old... Uh, whatever that thing was that we were looking at. That's the vacuum pipe. So I think you can connect this to that or to that to this. And then you can like load things up. And that also, I believe, is what you connect to this. I assume that you connect vacuum pumps to this. And then you can like automate manufacturing of items. So you can like pump them straight into a chest. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. But unfortunately, I don't think we're quite at that level just yet. I don't know what that green item is. There's something... Looks like you can't craft it. This. Oh, that's what the glue is. Oh, right, we can craft some glue. Five seconds a piece. That's cool. Oh, okay. And you can turn that oil from the bottom of the ocean into gasoline as well. We can get soil out of wood, carrots, and whatever that item is. I don't recognize that block. This one. Oh, sand. So you can smash stone into sand, but we can't get stone yet. There's quite a process to all of this, basically. And uh, we're nowhere near getting anywhere through it. Anyways, we've got that. We have some glue. I don't know how much glue we got, but uh, we got one glue. So you get one glue per craft. And with the glue, well, yeah, once you get five of them, well, once we get another one, we can actually get a small chest, which would be really, really handy for transporting our items around. Anyways, one thing at a time. Let's go and upgrade this engine, shall we? Pop it off. All right. Microwave. Replace you with the engine. Microwave can go back on the front. To <laughs> the wrong way around, though. There we go. All righty. Let's go and wire it all up. We're going to go... I think I should be able to connect this. No, we can't. Wait. Do I? Can I upgrade it? No. You just can't do it at all. All right. Well, I feel like we're going to have to keep this thing connected to the front of the vehicle. Just because... 
That's what seems to be working. There we go. Connect that to that. Uh, limit. What? Oh, you can't upgrade it, but I need three more pieces for it. Um, and that'll allow it. That'll get more efficiency, two more gears. I got you. So I can make it, yeah, a little bit more powerful. And, uh, you can attach more bearings to it. So then we can attach more wheels to it. But for now, that isn't an option. Well, let's chuck some gasoline in there. Uh, cool. All right. All right, all right, all right. Should we take it for a test drive? I think we should. Let's have a look. How good is this new engine of ours? It actually works really <laughs> well. Um, our vehicle, on the other hand, don't work so well. Everything else works fine. The engine, the wheels. Oh, no. It's still doing that little lockup thing that it does for some odd reason. Why you do this? Okay. Now it decides not to do it. Oh, maybe it does? Yeah. So I'm not pressing any buttons. But it's, it's, it's forcing me to turn. I don't know. There's got to be a bug. It's either a bug or there's something I'm completely forgetting here that I just don't know about. I don't know. But I think what we're going to do, since we've got all these upgraded items, I think it's only fair and it only makes sense that we go and kind of upgrade the structuralness to all of this. I think I think, I think think it all needs a bit of an upgrade. I think we got to rebuild this from the ground up, to be honest. And that's exactly what I plan to do. Well, that was a complete and utter waste. Why did you do that, you dubby? Because uh, I was kind of like trying to reorganize uh, my items a little bit. That way we could kind of just sit into the side and let them do their thing over here. And look, they're on a lift now, so I can pick them up and take them as I go. Um, but I guess it didn't really work out according to plan. Anyways, let's go one step at a time here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to strip this bad boy down. Yep, that's right. We're taking everything apart. We're gonna get this vehicle. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get it to the. We're gonna, we're gonna give it the little refresh that it deserves. I think. I don't know. At least that's what I'm gonna try and do. So I think first things first, though, we gotta go and I guess. Ooh, what should I do here? I guess we should build it out of better wood for a start, shouldn't we? Because right now it's built out of utter scrap. Let's put some good metal, some good, sorry, some good woods on there. Uh, I think also I'm going to go ahead and widen up the rear wheelbase. Just get that a little bit wider just for future purposes. And then at least what we could do technically is uh, we could, I guess, I don't know, like put some large wheels on here if we decide to do that. But I guess what I'm kind of going for is uh, I'd like to be able to drive around without constantly rolling the vehicle. So if that's all I can achieve out of this, then then so be it. Oh, wait a second. That's the front of the vehicle. I thought I was working on the back. Oh gosh, I've like gone and like mixed myself up completely, but I guess that's okay. I guess that's fine. It is what it is. I should probably get a weld tool as well while I'm at it, shouldn't I? Inventory's full. I'll show you. Uh, so which way are we actually meant to be facing now? I guess, I guess, all right, I guess that's the front. That's fine. It is what it is. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's drop these little crates down over here at the back. Um, I guess, I don't know why I placed you down. Let's just, I guess we're just going to place things everywhere as we go. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me go. And I guess I'm going to need some more wood. So let's go and set all of that stuff to craft. I guess now I'm kind of glad that I went and upgraded our um, our thing about Bobby over there so we can just craft up a bunch of it as we go. I need more wood. <laughs> well, that didn't last us too long. There's another 10 at least. Okay, I think we're going to do the same thing over on this side where I'm going to go a little bit wider than previous. So it's going to be a little bit of a heavier vehicle. But in saying that, I think these wooden blocks are going to be better than what we were using beforehand anyways. So it's probably going to work out for the better. I kind of didn't want to make the front though that wide. So now I think I'm actually going to scrap that whole idea. Well, not entirely, but I just wanted to bring it in a little bit more. And of course, I got to go and throw an extra couple of these fellas on because uh, there was no that way that was going to work with just the two bearings that I had on there. I removed our little turner bearings. So they're back on. All right, that's a little bit better. I probably could get some suspension as well, to be honest. But I don't know what that costs. I don't know how expensive that is. Here we go. Oil and whatever those blocks are. The blocks we don't have. So yeah, we can't, we can't do that yet. We need these ones. Yeah, I don't have that stuff. 
But basically what I'm going for is this is our vehicle now. It's a little bit bigger than it previous was, previously was, um, but it's going to work out. It's going to be good. It's all for the right reasons here. Uh, we're going to go and drop this. Hmm. Does it sit one more forward or does it, do we want it a little bit rear weighted or forward weighted? I think we're going to keep the, keep the driver's seat towards the front. The engine, I guess, can sit right behind us. <gasps> Wait a second. I forgot to show you this, guys. No, we're going to replace this with... Nope, not that. Rotate you. Our toad bot head. I forgot to show you this. I somehow got this from killing one of those little vehicle guys. And what you can actually do with it... How does it work again? I thought you could, like... I thought you'd, like, punch it or something. It makes noises, but I can't remember how it actually works. Oh, uh, I guess... You... Oh, maybe you put a button on it. Yeah, you probably need a button on it, but I don't have any buttons yet. So either way, now we've got a little head at the front of our car. So we've got a little... I uh, don't even know what we're doing anymore. So I've been hard at work building up stage two of the old scrap mobile, guys. And I think it's just about ready to be... No, it's not this. That's not what I'm writing right now, but it's about ready to be revealed. I'm excited about it. I've gone above and beyond to make sure that this vehicle was everything that it needs to be. And I hope... I hope it is. I really, really hope it is. But let me introduce to you Scrap and Bill 2.0. Have a look at it. The new and improved. The one and only. Have a look at that. So we've gone for a much wider wheelbase this time around. We've kept our little cardboard boxes. But as you can see at the back here, we've actually found some use out of our old scrappy wheels uh, with a bit of a trailer. A little bit of a trailer situation going on here. Now, this is how it's all wired, wired up. Let me show you. Uh, we've got the rear power from the back. But we've got our little trailer thing here. And uh, these are obviously unpowered. So is our little like trailer situation. Uh, just a few bearings in there to make it nice and agile and like towable. Um, but other than that, everything is working pretty well. Now, I think... I actually haven't tested this out well enough just yet. But if we hop in here and we press 1, I don't think our tote bot did anything. Toad bot, I thought you were supposed to make noise or something. Oh, maybe it did. It is. <laughs> so I guess what you can do with it is this, right? If we close this, I can go. It's like a little horn. That is a really close up of my face. Um, heck is that? Yeah. All right. That's exactly what I wanted to do. That actually worked out better than I expected. Um, but on top of that, what I was actually thinking was we could pick this up. And I was like, oh, we can like drop it onto our, our thingamabobby here. But you can't actually do that. So I was like, I don't know. I, I don't really have a solution to this. Except for like dropping it on like that. But that's obviously not going to happen. It's not going to work that way. Unless, unless, actually, all right, all right, all right. Here's, here's a new plan. If I go like, if I go, oh, I'm just trying to get a little bit tricky with it here. I think this might be where things don't go according to plan. If I go like that and then pick this up. Rotate it like, okay, no, like that. That was good. That was good the first time. Uh, sort of like that. <laughs> would that, would that sit? I don't think it will. <laughs> it's pretty close though. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to rethink this idea. I think we need a well tool if we really want to get this thing working. But wherever we're going, I want to bring all of our stuff with us. So I think I might just need to manually load it onto our trailer. Um, but let's not worry about that. Let's actually take this thing for a test drive. Let me show you how it actually runs. Uh, so as you go, oh gosh, come on. No, no, no. Go straight lines. Straight lines. This is literally why I made a wider wheelbase. That we wouldn't be flipping it like this. But I guess we haven't managed to solve that problem just yet. In fact, this trailer is proving to be more trouble than it's worth. It kind of just like drags me all over the place. I think if we put too much weight on this trailer, it's just gonna, yeah, it's just gonna like drag us everywhere. Uh, but that's okay. It's one step at a time. And uh, hey, we got a vehicle that actually runs well. <laughs> it's more of a drifter than anything. Oh my gosh. Uh, this thing, I guess, wasn't built for power. I don't know. Either ways, though, uh, we got to get this engine upgraded now. We've actually got a better, uh, an upgradable engine. Now I got to go and find the computer components that are going to at least allow us to power it up and throw some power between, well, I guess on all four of our wheels because that's kind of what we got to do. Anyways, we got a little bit of food while we're here as well. Fantastic. Um, but yeah, everything is good. We've actually got a vehicle that runs. So mission 
accomplished. Except it kind of wants to just run in circles rather than in a straight line like I had intended. All right. You know what? <laughs> I guess we don't need a trailer right now anyway. This thing is just... Okay. No. All right. You know what? You, you're bugging me. You're bugging me. I'm trying to think. How can I stop that from happening? I think maybe I just got to attach this to something. If I attach this to the engine... Can't do it though. How about the switch? No, you can't connect that either. Doesn't matter. You know what I'm going to do? I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to drive this in here. <laughs> Ouch. I think I just hurt myself. I did. I just... Wow. Okay. Don't do don't do that. Um, boop. There we go. Okay. We'll leave, we'll leave, we'll leave the trailer behind. And oh no. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on. You telling me I need the trailer? I think it's telling me I need the trailer. And now I can't reconnect it though. <laughs> I need a weld tool. Oh no. I didn't think that through one bit. Oh well. It is what it is. How about if I switch it back to front powered? Yeah, all right. By powering the front wheels, we actually get some pretty good movement out of this. So I think we've done what we set out to do today. We've managed to upgrade our vehicle to a point where it actually, it actually works. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. That's all I've wanted to achieve and we've done it. So I guess on that note, guys, it's time to call it a day. Thank you all so much for watching this video of score. No, 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 no. I see you there, buddy. I see you there. Come and get some, son. Haven't killed enough robots today, that's for sure. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for the second board. But on that note, it is time to end the video. I'm going to go head back to the ocean, collect a whole bunch of oil, a whole bunch of the glue, clam, powder, glue stuff, that whatever it was that we managed to pick there. Um, yeah, do a whole lot of resource collecting and hopefully be ready for the next episode to do uh, some nice old upgrades Maybe even, I don't know, look into some of the new mechanics uh, with these new items that we can actually go ahead and get. So I think that'll be really, really cool. But uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain, those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.